the uh, the SW4 Solo trials using the uh, uh, Augusta Westland SW4 Solo, which is an optionally part of the helicopter, uh, was the culmination of a two-year program of work uh, we were undertaking on behalf of the Royal Navy and United Kingdom Ministry of Defence that was looking at the uh, opportunities to utilise tactical maritime unmanned air systems in the maritime environment to deliver uh, a concept capability demonstrator program that looked at the use of unmanned air systems operating in the maritime, uh, looking at wide area surveillance, uh, support to mine countermeasures and hydrography mission sets. The trial itself uh, happened in Clambetta in North Wales and we were able to demonstrate the use of the optionally piloted helicopter with an uh, AESA radar, the PicoSAR, electro-optic uh, IR turret, uh, situational awareness provided by the Select Vigil X system, and apparently Vistacam uh, situational uh, camera system on the nose. And we were able to demonstrate utility in wide area surveillance in the maritime environment, the littoral environment, and also on the land environment. And we were able to read that information uh, from the aircraft uh, to a uh, ground control station. Uh, the ground control station itself was controlling the SW4 solo during the trials. Uh, it then was able to relay the information in terms of positional data, uh, stills data, full motion video data from that ground station to an emulation of the BAE systems combat management system that can be found on most of the large surface combatants in service with the Royal Navy. So this was a, a true end-to-end -end demonstration and it really did show the, uh, the potential for these platforms and systems and the capabilities to work as a true systems of systems approach in the maritime environment. We've uh, developed an automatic takeoff and landing system uh, in-house uh, that was uh, integrated into the SW4 solo flight control system and the ground control station. We used a moving uh, truck because uh, it gave us all of the necessary uh, motions and movements and also in very high wind conditions at Clambetta and so we were able to demonstrate the recovery of the SW4 uh, into a moving high wind environment that is typical of a ship and um, also we were able to then demonstrate taking off from that moving platform um, so we were able to you know, show the full evolution of a, of a ship deck operation. Italian Blade was an exercise that happened in uh, Rivolto in, uh, in Italy. Uh, it's a European Defence Agency uh, trial. We were able to take the SW4 Solo to that trial, working in concert with the, uh, the AW129 Delta attack helicopter, the utility variant of NH90, and also the uh, CH47 Chinook. And we were able to demonstrate what is called manned unmanned teaming between the, um, uh, the unmanned air system, which was uh, basically picking up um, uh, intelligence and surveillance data, again, uh, moving targets, stills and video, and we were able to transfer that data in real time to the manned platforms. Uh, we were also able to demonstrate information from the manned platforms back through the ground control station uh, to then um, require the SW4 Solo to then be repositioned to again look at different target sets. So we were able to demonstrate um, both with the Clambetta trials over the maritime and with Exercise Italian Blade across the battlefield, uh, the full man-to-man -man teaming uh, and uh, I-Star capabilities of the platform.